happened, dude? It's hard, and uh, why did the student need his homework? How come? Because the teacher told him it was a piece of cake. Good morning, Sandpoint High. Today for lunch is a chili dog with corn on the cob, and today is the last day to get your student ID card, so go in and get those in E8. This Wednesday the 9th is the science circuit, so come on down to the gym and watch the honors chemistry students do some cool experiments. It's a great day to be a bulldog. Yes. Oh. Oh, oh. Uh. Yeah, come in, Mr. Mr. Dickinson, how's it going? Uh, it's going well, how you doing? Uh, not bad, not bad. Um, hey, uh, we really, I need you to go down to um, a classroom down in the west hallway and uh, go, go talk to a teacher about uh, something real important. Oh, is it serious? Yeah, it's, a, it's serious, so okay. I need you to go to W14. W14, okay. Okay, so I need you to do that, like, like right now. Like right now, yeah. it's time sensitive? Yeah. Okay. Okay? All right, All right. I got right. it. Appreciate got it, thanks. thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, get this form ready to take with me, and then just one more time. Uh, Mr. Knowles, what would you call this thing for? Is this something important? Yeah, yeah, thanks for coming in. Hey, we're just wanting to uh, kind of go over some of the Chromebook policies because we're having some issues with students doing some inappropriate stuff on Chromebooks uh, and really kind of using technology inappropriately. So, sure. um, Mr. Dickinson, Mr. Dickinson, what, what? Sorry, sorry to interrupt you, but um, you know, we've got a, a Chromebook issue that we have to really look at. Um, would you mind putting your technology away so that we can kind of focus on, on the issue at hand? Uh, I'm listening to Eminem, and I need, this helps me focus. It helps clear my mind so I can focus. Okay, I, I understand that, but we've got some pretty serious issues with Chromebook stuff, and, and we need your expertise. Can, can we turn? Oh, oh, sorry. Can we turn the M and M off and, and, and focus on the Chromebook issue here? Uh, sure. As you saw in those last video clips, Mr. Martz, um, and they were pretty, pretty corny clips, but uh, you can see that some students can, you know, it, it can get you into trouble with technology. It can be a distraction, certainly in the classroom or in the workplace. Obviously, we know that technology can be a really big benefit as well to a yeah. lot of people and very useful here, and we got a lot of cool things. But it's, it is something that obviously students can kind of take too far and cause. A, a, a distraction to the learning. And if I don't re, if I do recall correctly, uh, there was an agreement, a, a form that students filled out at the beginning of the year when it came to technology and the Chromebooks. What 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 were some of the key details of that agreement? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, uh, as students, you guys signed at the beginning of the year stating what was um, the appropriate way to use your Chromebooks, things that you said, I will do this and I won't do that. Um, one of the key kind of blanket ideas was that the Chromebook is for educational use. So it's supposed to be used for educational purposes. So things like games, if you're just distracting yourself by playing music or, um, you know, we've seen a couple students that are kind of sneaking videos even onto their Chromebooks and then trying to watch those in class. Um, those are clear violations of what you said you wouldn't do with your Chromebook. Um, a, a few other ones that seem pretty prevalent kind of going on now is um, people kind of working their way to kind of hack around our school filtering system, which is one of the very top things that was uh, an item that students say they're not going to do, is try and hack around the filtering system. Um, and that's happening. So that's that's definitely an issue. Do you think it's been um, on the increase as the school year has gone on with more and more of that going on? I think so. I think, you know, a couple kids figure out some sneaky way to do it and then it spreads and um, it maybe, maybe kids think like, hey, if I can do it, then it's just okay to do rather than really reflecting mm -hmm. on what is appropriate to use the Chromebook for. Um, yeah. So if a teacher or a staff member sees you using the Chromebook, Chromebook inappropriately, what are the steps in place? Sure, sure. Um, kind of um, same, same way we deal with a lot of discipline, kind of the first thing is going to be a warning. 
Um, but if it's a repeat thing or if it's a more serious offense, then the teachers are going to be taking the Chromebook away and um, having the student come down to the office and it's going to be parent contact. It could eventually escalate into loss of Chromebook privileges for a period of time and then if it keeps going on, it's going to be complete loss of the Chromebooks at school. And that would be a bummer because obviously the, uh, because of the benefits that the Chromebooks can provide right, to right. have it be yeah. restricted for a period of time or even the rest of the school year, then that'd be tough. Yeah, that's the tension. It's like we want students to have these really cool tools to use, but at the same time, um, students have to use them appropriately, otherwise it's, it's an issue, it's distracting. Yeah, so we just wanted to take time to just remind you about what you agreed to use the Chromebook for and the things you agreed to not use the Chromebook for um, so that you're not getting yourself in trouble. Just remember, find that balance of not distracting yourself, using it for educational purposes to further your understanding. Perfect.